Everyone thinks snow shoveling is so easy. But it's really quite technical, it's very advanced, it's a science, not an art. It's not just willy-nilly, you can't just scoop up any snow you want. So I'm gonna make this instructional video to show you how exactly you should do it and not any other way. First of all, what equipment do you need? Well, you need snow, you need a shovel, and that's just any shovel, you know, Rona Snow Remover 3000. With plastic imported from Germany and created specifically by German engineers, with West Brazilian Tika wood, polished by only the best craftsmen. And this kind of base, it's got to be the right width, right? Now this is about a, a two foot three thumb um, base, and uh, yeah, that's the measurement we use here in North America. And uh, that's what you're going to want to have to shovel all that snow, okay? On stairs, it's a little different. You're gonna wanna bend your knees, not the back. You don't wanna be doing this. Bend your knees, about a 45 degree angle. And now I could start all the way back here, but that would not be a 45 degree angle, would it? It would be a 90 degree angle with the ground. So that's the wrong angle. 45 degree angle, give or take. It's, you know, we have one or two degrees of, um, of leeway. Now on the stairs, I want to keep one foot up, one foot down. Makes a lot of noise. If you get really advanced, don't try this just to start. You lift it up and you throw it. You have to you have to make sure to push with your knees too, and just keep your uh, your bottom hand in the same place. Push forward, push through. It's like a karate bow staff, right? You're just poking, but you gotta launch your body with it. Now let's move on to something a little more complex. Into another 45 degree angle so that I've scooped a little bit out. I'm going to scoop myself a little bit of a half -foot. Here I can actually stand up until I need to lift. At the stairs I didn't because it was so short. Here it's a little bit longer, a little bit heavier. I can kind of just push and then when I need to lift, really got to get a last good happy scoop in there. Lift with your knees. So, we are simply going to take a bit of an arc, and here we're going to hold it differently. You see the handle is specifically shaped so that I could hold it like this, or like this. And this is when I don't have room to the side to step next to the shovel, and I only have room behind, I can use it as just a snowplow in front of me. I will have to move back to this position to remove the snow completely, but for the time being it's good enough. So we're going to arc around, and here you'll see I have to shift it around, spin it around, so that I can remove some but not all, take out some but not all of the snow and put it on this pile over here. And I will do that a few times. And now, Oh, I have a little more to go before I can step over there. Okay, now we're going to be moving into a time lapse. We're going to be applying all of the concepts we've learned so far and put it into the real deal, the big driveway. We're only going to be doing this half because it's the half that's visible to the camera. If uh, there weren't two cars here, I would have showed you the whole driveway. It's a little bit more advanced, so maybe I'll do that in a future video. But for now, we'll just be doing this half of the driveway. It functions as its own driveway, really.
So here's the very last strip of snow and you can join me while we do this. I'll go over the steps one more time. 45 degree angle, bend at the knees, not the back. Lower hand, upper hand, look where you're shoveling and shovel. Get our last scoop, lift with the knees, throw it over, take any excess snow in the wall, throw it over, take any of these extra bits you left behind, switch your hand every now and then. And there we go. The whole driveway is, is empty of snow. There's no snow left. It's completely not white. I can promise you that for a fact.